will use this as a measuring tool. So let's give it to me. So basically, we're gonna start this. This, this is, you know, we, we know the water is gonna come down this way, right? Yes. So and we start this length. We start this length. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Sorry. It's this, this width. Yes, yes you're right. Yeah, and when we're digging, mm -hmm. where are we putting the, the, the dirt? The soil. On that side. Mm -hmm. On that side. So that we're side. digging, yeah. bringing back here. Back here. Yeah. Digging, bring it back here, creating a berm. Probably, even though it's not very steep, we might add a bit to pretty much have a meter. You know, the, the, the depth yeah. and the land doesn't escape, it's going to push a little bit. It's going to go over everywhere, it's going to make a mess. So we have several techniques. You can have a pipe, you can. It has to be a level, yeah. This is what we call it again, an overflow spillway. Uh, it has to, that's one technique. Another technique is to create an opening in the swale. So now we're digging the swale, obviously. Again, following here, it's gonna be like this, right? It's gonna go like this with the berm on this side. And it's gonna continue like this. And we dig deep enough uh, that you can, you know, walk in it. And we, and we also build, we have enough soil to create a pathway, potentially to walk on the... Another time after two days, yeah. another two days, another two days, up to 18 days. And so we should have it coming out. So basically it's how many, how many turns is the, is the forage, so they will add more uh, oxygen. It will slow the process, but it will, and 
graduation process. So maybe then now you have to wait for three weeks. That's great.